Hello everyone. Today our topic is direct cash mapping. In the previous video, we discussed associative mapping and it has the disadvantage of its high cost since it requires additional hardware for implementing the matching process. In direct mapping, the CPU address is divided into two fields, the tag field and the index field. The number of bits in the index field is equal to the number of bits required to access the cache memory. We'll consider a simple memory organization that was used for illustrating the associative mapping. Since we have 32K RAM, then we need 15 bits to address any location in RAM. We have 5 to 12 locations in cache, so we need 9 bits to address any location in cache. According to this organization, the CPU address is divided into two parts, 9 bits for the index and the remaining 6 bits for the tag. In general, if the size of RAM is 2 to the power n locations and the size of cache is 2 to the power k locations. So we need n bits to access any RAM location and k bits to access any cache location. The memory address generated by the CPU is divided into two parts k bits for the index and the remaining n minus k bits for the tag. Now, for example, we have 9 bits for the index and 6 bits for the tag. Each location in the cache consists of the data word and its associated tag. After a CPU generates a request, the index field of the address is used to access the cache. The tag field of the CPU address is compared to the tag field in the cache. If the two tags are equal, in this case we have a cache sheet and the desired word is found in the cache and is read and transferred to the CPU. If the tags are not equal, in this case we have cache miss and the required word has to be brought from main memory. It's then stored in the cache together with the new tag replacing the old one. Suppose, for example, that the memory address is five zeros in octal. This part is the index and is used to access the cache. The tag in the cache is zero zero and in the CPU address is zero zero. So the contents of cache location one, two, two, zero is transferred to the output. And in this case, we have cache it. And suppose, for example, that the CPU address is zero, zero, three sevens, then three sevens are used to access the cache. The tag in the cache is zero, two, and the tag in the CPU address is zero, zero. We have mismatch. So we have to access the RAM and bring the content of this memory location into this location in the cache. In some systems, the data is stored in the cache in blocks. In this case, the index field is divided into two parts, the block field and the word field. In our example, if we choose the block size 8, then we have 512 over 8, which is 64 blocks. So we need six bits to address any block and the remaining three bits for the word field. The tag field stored within the cache is common to all words of the same block. So the 15 bit address is divided into six bits for the tag, common to all the blocks, six bits for the block, 
attributes for the word field. Here on cache miss, the entire block of eight words is transferred from RAM to the cache. All the time for transfer is increased, but it is expected that the hit ratio will improve, and this is because of the sequential nature of programs. Our next topic is set associated mapping. For today, that's all. Thank you.